Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Pets Part 12. Um, I know I might sound a little different. I uh, just woke up, but I know I had an LP for you guys to, um, to watch. So, I decided that I'm going to record. <clears throat> now, um, he wants to do what? Play with another pet? He wants to socialize with another pet. Okay, so we are going to get, um, we are going to get, uh, this pet hygienator from Dash here. Um, he only has, like, a little while longer, and then we'll have it, and we can see how that works. Also, I was playing my game, and, um, I, in my, my regular gameplay, like, outside of the LP, I have a cat. Well, I have two cats now. We adopted one. Um, I have two cats. And one of them, they were forming the hunting skill all on their own. So I totally didn't make them do it. But then, their hunting skill is different from the dog's hunting skill. The dog's hunting skill, um, <clears throat> and the dog's hunting skill, you... Uh, you kind of, you hunt for objects, collectibles, rocks, and, you know, things like that. But with the cat hunting skill, they find your minor pets for you. How freaking awesome. Wasn't I just having, like, the worst time ever looking for minor pets? I think so. But, um, come on, play with her. And where are you playing with her? I think they're playing, but... Eat the trash pile. Where is the trash pile? Uh, okay, so we're gonna totally just do this here. Knock over. Come knock that over. Dash. And then we are going to eat the trash pile. So, where's Brittany? Did Brittany have food left over? No, she doesn't have any gourmet pet food. We need to make some gourmet pet food. We're going to make the chicken pet food. Yeah, chicken. Ollie likes the chicken. Oh, is he eating it already? Without me telling him to? Nope. Why is my game... Oh, it's on speed 3. I'm like, why is my game going like so crazy right now? So we're going to have him eat that um, trash pile. And then we should totally have the pet hygienator. Well, we will have the pet hygienator no matter what. I mean, it's simple math. 817 plus 200 equals more than 10,000. <laughs> Alrighty. So, we got it. Let's go ahead and get it. I'm so excited. So excited. There's also this super swank pet bed that I want to get as well. But, um, yeah, probably you don't know about all of that. We'll try. Um... So it's in our family's inventory. We're going to go pull that out here. And I also kind of found a way to, uh, a way to, uh, I need to delete this. I also kind of found a way to kind of contain all the pets and get them out of my fucking way. Alright, so we're going to put this pet, this little pet hygienator thing. We're going to put it right here. Yeah. Right there. Okay. And we're going to move sunshine out of the damn way. And then Dash is smelly as ever. So we are going to have Dash come in and get a good washing. And let's see this at work. And again, this took 10,000 lifetime reward points for pets to get. So, and I believe only dogs and cats can get it. Horses can't get this. Obviously, horses can't eat it. And he is clean. And he has this mutlet, unnaturally clean. A cleanliness level Mother Nature would never have imagined possible. Alright, Damien has a party to go to, so we're going to let Damien go to his party. Mm. Oh, okay, he was, I'm like, he was about to do kill Oscar. Or lose Oscar, pretty much. So, we are going to um, have Brittany here. Uh, teach her the hunting skill, which doesn't look like he can. 
Why can't this damn cat learn the fucking hunting skill? Maybe it's because she's not knocking. Or maybe you don't teach the cat the hunting skill, they learn it themselves. But it would be nice. Yeah, they learn it themselves. So, what we do here is, um, we click on the ground and we click stalk for prey. And then that's going to level up the cat hunting skill. And, um, eventually she'll bring us back a few minor pets and stuff like that. So, pretty cool. Now we are going to invite over... I think he's at work though. Kanoa. And then we're gonna have him break up with that bitch. And then we're gonna steal him away. See, Paggle? Dendovella? Oh, he's coming over. Yay. I thought he'd be at work. Lady Glarn? So, Mishap Lazi. Guess what? So, we're gonna fill all of these with gourmet food. Okay. And, um,. I'm going to do a little bit of remodeling here, just a tad bit. Um, like I said, I kind of figured out a way to pretty much um, to pretty much uh, just like I don't know, like uh, kind of keep the pets out of my damn way, and that's pretty much to put them in a fence like this one. We're in a fence, and then you can lock the gate on the fence so I'm just gonna buy a few dog houses and then put all these little rascals in there just one of every color and they're so inexpensive <laughs> I wonder do the other ones give them like a better them nope the more expensive one are like the more expensive ones don't do anything special they just look different um but let's see here. We're just gonna give them a few dog houses. They have that little dog pad over there, and uh, Katie is filling or Brittany is filling the food dishes. And I am about to send all of the pets inside of the gate, <coughs> except the cat. The cat can stay out. Cats are more homely kind of people anyway. Alright, so here is Kanoa. Oh, I'm about to invite Kanoa inside. Go on in, Dash. Oh, Dash is vomiting. And that's from eating the trash. <laughs> and the pets are also coming in. Alright, so we are going to just also move their pet dishes in here. Um, I don't know where to put these. Uh, put it right in there. We can put one right there, and we can put another one right there. I guess we can put them in front of the houses. Okay, and then, um, of course, the little doggy chew toys. We cannot forget. My game is like being really crazy right now. Really freaking crazy. Um. There. That is like getting them all out of my way. And I have to wait until the puppies go in so we can lock it behind the last little puppy. Who's fighting? Oh, I think that's my cat. My cat is fighting a snake. Like I saw the snake. There, the snake got away. But she tried. Oh, we caught an iguana. Cool beans. So Ichabod caught an iguana. Let's see here. It's a it's a common iguana. Uh, something that we could have easily bought. Um, we could have easily bought. Uh, yeah, but we're gonna present this to Brittany here, and then we're gonna have uh, Katie. Why are you? We're gonna have Katie. Uh, where the fuck are you going, dude? Don't you dare run away from me. Don't you dare leave my house. We're gonna have Katie uh, kind of get friendly with him. Um, we're gonna give him flowers because that total and the dogs came out. Oh, that totally uh, just like Oh. Oh. 
My voice sounds so weird, doesn't it? It's starting to annoy me. I hate my voice as it is. But especially like this. I really, really hate it. It's like, I don't know. It's so deep, I guess, kind of. Acts for the foot jasmine. Barb. Missa! Middle. Wang. Where's Zowie Bears? So she kind of had them break up, but. She had them break up, but she also realized that he has commitment issues, which is kind of, you know, why their romantic advances are not that easy. Like with him, her romantic advances are not that easy with him. Uh huh. Curb looks heavy. Son of a devil. Now, just a little, um, just a little, just a little, um, see. Um, Let's see here. Just Liars. a little. Uh, I don't know how. I want to pause it because I'm so terrible at this. Uh, talking. I'm terrible at multitasking. Okay. Just a little FYI. A little tip um, for you guys. You know how when you meet a guy, and in your game, oh my god, that cat back there scared the bejesus out of me. Oh my fucking god. But anyways, you know how you are. You're like. Uh, you meet a sim, and you know you you, you you take the time to get to know him and his traits and all of that stuff. And um, let's see, pr pr hopefully he, he takes our proposal to study. Zabu Baglas? Oh yay! Wow, she is a B-list celebrity that quick. Wow. That is so freaking cool. Okay, so you know how you like you meet a you meet a, um, a guy in The Sims and you know, or a girl, and you're like, okay, this is we're gonna move them in and we're gonna spend my life with the rest of them, like with the rest of them. <laughs> we're gonna spend the rest of my life with them. And um, I know my voice is terrible. I know. Don't you don't have to tell me. I know you guys are gonna want to tell me, but my voice is terrible. So we're going to be like, you're going to, I want to spend the rest of my life with them. And then you move them in and you find out they're like two days away from becoming an elder. Quick fix for that. There is the Fountain of Youth. I just like put that in my regular game and it took me, the first time it took me to, it took me 17 wishes for youth <laughs> to, uh, to actually get my youth. And it started him not to the beginning of the young adulthood, but of adulthood because he was an adult um and then uh we actually had to do it twice because she was just like the beginning of her young adulthood and you know i didn't want him to become an elder while she like become became an adult which is actually what was happening so i used it again and it took like 30 times i swear to god 32 times i believe it was wishes for youth and that's twenty five dollars twenty five civilians every single wish so that's a lot of money but it eventually worked and everything and like i and before the the spring in my um the spring in my fountain of youth wasn't working but now it is so it's pretty cool um but let me get these dogs in here where's the puppies where's the puppy okay we're gonna get all of these dogs in here. And who is that, Dash? And then uh, we're gonna. Weeb. Marzi. Zardozi. Smania Tataya. We're gonna move him. <laughs> Brittany hasn't moved Ooh. since she's been alive. Damn puppy, where the hell are you going? Go here. Clazo? No, I'm not gonna repair your television. Dash, you come back too. Oh my god, they're getting on my nerves. There we go, we locked it so pets can't go out. And they will stay in there. And they pretty much have everything they kind of need in there. And that is just for a little while. Tell me if you guys would rather me keep them in here. Or would you rather me just, uh, no, I won't keep them in there forever, don't get me wrong. Probably will, though. But, um, or would you rather me just sell Sadie and Dash? Because that's what you, you all voted for on Facebook, was to sell Sadie and Dash. So. 
Is officially mm. B list celebrity. Cool. Mm. Mm. She has to use the bathroom first, so. And it's also late, and everything, everybody's all sleeping. Alrighty, and we will wake up. It looks like when Katie wakes up. Alright, guys? What the hell? Is someone in the pet hygienator? No? I don't- what was that noise? Oh well. Oh well. Alrighty guys, we will pick up when they wake up. Alrighty, and Kiki just woke up at like 8.13 for some strange reason. I have- I think maybe the cat, I don't know, but we are going to have her grab a bowl of the smack and cheese that Brittany cooked last night. Hopefully it doesn't like make her sick or anything. And we pay the bills just now. I have to put this horse ball back in there too. There you go. Didn't we have a dog ball? I'm pretty sure we bought a dog ball. I am pretty positive, but I don't think they, uh, I think they might have lost it or something. I don't know. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna make it a different color. Let's make it this color. <clears throat> Ketchup and mustard. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we can present the check for a few celebrity points. It's not like she has anything else to do. Well, she does have a job, but no oh well. Um, and then Brittany is about to wake up in a second, so we're going to have her serve up some pancakes. And we also need to go get a few recipes for her, too. Just, you know, so they can have more than the usual. And I'm just going to wake up Damien. He doesn't need to be fully rested. Um, so I'm going to have... Oh, Sadie was in the pet hygienator last night. That's what that noise was, I think. Because she has that unnaturally clean thingy. Who has fleas? Oh, he's tired from drinking. Okay, I thought he had fleas. Okay. So. And then we're going to have, uh... Brittany can go fill that with gourmet food. And we'll see if the other dishes are okay. So we are gonna have Ichabod Ichabod uh stock for prey. So we're gonna get that hunting skill up like as fast as we can. Because I really want him to bring home a bunch of minor pets. Is Oscar in there? Yep. We need to fill Oscar's food dish as well. Looks like he needs his cage clean, but like that green shit right there. That doesn't look, you know, healthy. Okay. So Ichabod caught a gecko. Let's see this gecko. Oh, it's common. So we're kind of just gonna present it to. Oopsie, not sunshine. Present it to Brittany. Let's have him present it to Brittany. Where's Brittany? Oh, she's... Oh, whatever. Okay. So, we're, is our we're pancakes? Kick it up a notch and then put away the leftovers. And, uh, Katie can come on home. Ichabod has gained the hunter trait. CD's going to get cleaned again. I guess she just likes being clean. How many more days until the puppies age up? Four. Alrighty, so come home, Brittany. 
I'm gonna check her celebrity status here. Okay. She's like almost three and a half stars. And I'm also checking for oh. um we need now, um, we're gonna have Brittany because Brittany needs to befriend uh this cat here. Because uh, you know, in order to let the uh let the um the unicorn in because she's friends with the horse she's friends with dash so let's let her like befriend the cat and everything she's like best friends forever with the horse but so we're gonna get them like really friendly and we also need to put a cat dish out here um we also need to put a cat dish out here because, uh, yeah. Who is this? Oh, paparazzi. What is that on the ground? <laughs> oh, that's our gecko. Just sitting there. We'll see. Alrighty. Who's the car waiting for? I think it's waiting for Brittany. Yeah. That's a nice car. I, mean, I don't remember seeing this car in The Sims. Looks kind of nice. Oh, and then there's that old dust buster. Alrighty, so let's see here. Um, Alright, it's almost 3 o'clock, but we will... Wait a little longer so Brittany can uh, make dinner, and we're just gonna have her play with the kitty a little bit more. And then we also need to put a dish out here for the cat. So you see how less, um, how like less, uh, you know, uh, less uh, play uh, chase. It's like like less annoying with all of those, you know, kittens and thingies like yeah. not around or in your life like with all those dogs they're like out of the way so oh okay so I mean, the puppies they don't really need to be brushed or anything I guess you can say aw to him he's like oh Ollie has one of those, but it's like a little shorter, and he lost it somewhere in my room. Probably under my bed, which is where he puts everything under my bed. Like, everything. <laughs> so, where is Jules's? Or not Jules, I keep calling it Ichabod. Jules is amazing. No, use this amazing, um, that amazing, um, kitty litter box. I hate the fact that it's pink now and he's a boy, but, oh well, it'll work. And let's make sure his scratching post is still there. Yep. Alrighty, so we are going to add in a food dish really quickly. Any old food dish will work. I hope that doesn't get in the way. I think it will, but we will see. Alrighty. And. Oh, look at the puppy chewing on the little chew toy. Oh my god, it is so cute. It is so cute. Mm. And then we're going to have her fill that with gourmet food as well.
Alrighty. So, what we are going to do here, I believe is actually... What time is the unicorn? Definitely not now because it's not night time. So, we will uh, see if that unicorn comes out and then... Uh, yeah, because we do need to at least still get friendlier with the unicorn. I mean, we may not be able to axe them, you know, in the house, but we can still get friendly mm. with him. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do that. Mm. Wait until like 8 o'clock, I believe, mm. some time, and then just see no. if they're out there tonight. Probably mm -hmm. won't be, you know. Where is that water coming from? Oh, she's washing dishes. Okay, I'm like out of it right now, and I'm about to bake cookies. Like, um, we bought this. Mm -hmm. I bought this really cute, like giant mix mixing oh, mixer. It's like a mixer. That's what it's called, a mixer, uh, from QVC, and it came in the mail yesterday. And I'm gonna bake cookies in it for the first time. And yeah, you guys. I don't know if you guys are into cooking and everything, but like, the way things are mixed is very, very important. When it comes to just uh, uh, baking and cooking and things like that, like you kind of have to, you kind of have to, uh, you know, like be good at it. Like it has to be mixed really, really well. And then to have a mixer, you know, it makes it ten times better. It makes it taste better, you know, like, you know, because it's mixed up properly, like completely. It's just awesome. So I'm really, really, really excited to make sure I have all of the ingredients. And if I don't, I'm probably going to, like, like go crazy. Oh, come on. If I don't, I'm probably going to go crazy and then uh, kill someone. But I think I do have all of the ingredients. So it's about 8 o'clock. I'm going to see if our unicorn is there. Yep, our unicorn is, like, kind of forming there. Cool, cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave off here. When we get back, we will have Brittany... Uh, go visit the unicorn and uh, get a little friendlier with them and uh, yeah yeah um, we can also check uh, have the kitties catch some more minor pets and whatnot and all of that good shit so I will talk to you guys all later you all have a super fantastic awesome splendid amazing day and an even better weekend and again, I'm sorry that my voice is like so not up to par today. Um, yeah, because and I left the window open all last night too, so that probably has something to do with it. But um, I will talk to you guys all later. And um, yeah, all right, bye guys.